Hey guys, for today's video, I'm going to show you how to use these great memory glass frames to make a really, really nice piece. My grandmother passed away on September, Friday, September the 19th. And as for a project that I wanted to do for the family, is I wanted to make something that the family could wear to show remembrance of my grandmother, but at the same time, a man or a woman could wear it. <clears throat> now, these frames are really, really neat. The reason being is because it will allow you to do two sides to whatever you're going to make. Now, what you want to do <clears throat> is your frames come in packages of three. Now, your frame pack is colored. Okay? So, the color that's on your frame pack is the color of pack you want for your glass. For this size glass, it is a 2x2 two two memory glass, and these are 2x2 two two frames. So both packages are this yellow color. There's quite a few different sizes that you can use for this, but for today's project, I'm going to use this memory frame. Now, there is a tab here on the side, and I'm going to try and kind of move it around so you can see the indention. And to do these frames is super easy. To open them, all you have to do is lift the tab just a little. Put my hand behind it so you can see just barely did I pull that tab open. And I'm just going to pull the frame open as so. Now, I have taken a picture. This can be a, um, a picture that was printed on paper, on photo paper, you know, whatever you want to do. This particular picture that I had of her was on photo paper and I did not want the photo paper to show on the back of my piece. So my grandmother's favorite colors were black and white polka dots. So what I did was I went up to Positively Paper on Main Street in Forest City and Sharon had a wonderful black and white polka dot paper. So I laid my piece of glass on top of my paper and traced out the exact size I would need for the paper and for the picture. Now, let me show you how super easy this is. I'm going to put the paper and the picture back to back. I'm going to take two pieces of glass and I'm going to sandwich my paper and my picture in the two pieces of glass. Now, once I do this, I'm going to take the frame I'm going to set it down in the frame, making sure I get it in the grooves of the frame. And I'm going to make sure the little tab goes back inside its little hole. And when I get it closed, I'm going to press the tab shut. And it's finished. Completely done. Now, if you're a scrapbooker, you can do collages um, in your frame. Um, you, I mean, there's so many endless possibilities of what can actually go in the frame. The thing you have to think about is the thickness of the frame because your two pieces of glass have to fit inside this frame for this to work. Now, I wanted to make a necklace out of it, so what I did was I took a piece, um, I cut 36 inches of a piece of just cotton cord and I tied the two ends together. Now, so that this could be a unisex piece for a man or a woman, I took and I found the center of my cord. I poked the center through the hole, my little hanger here on the loop. And then I took the knot that I made and slid the knot inside of the loop that I had left and I pulled. Now what this does is this gives me a knot or a hanger so that way when they actually wear the necklace, it will hang the way that it needs to. And this is a great way to do this unisex for a man or a woman. Um, you can take this off, so that's the good part about it. That's what um, we kind of told them is that you could easily take the cording off and add a hook to make this a Christmas ornament for Christmas, you know, or hang it on a hanger. Um, you know, like an ornament hanger so that it would actually sit out. There's so many possibilities. I mean, this project came about on a sad note, but it could easily be made into a happy project by putting um, 
It could be a wedding favor with a picture of the bride and the groom, um, you know, and then maybe the date of marriage on the back. It could be um, a baby shower favor where you put the sonogram of the baby and, you know, put possibly what the baby's name is going to be and the year. I mean, there's so many possibilities. And like I said, there are a couple of different sizes of these frames. This is the 2x2 two two square. They also make a rectangle. A one and a half by one and a half that has two loops on the sides that are really great for um, uh, charms. And then they also have a um, one other size. I'm sorry, I can't think of it right at this time. But we carry all four of the um, the size of glasses you need and the frames. Now the thing with the frames, the cool thing about those, they don't just come in silver. They come in silver. They come in gunmetal and they come in an antique copper. So it's amazing all the different things that you, um, all the different looks you can accomplish with just a frame and your two pieces of glass. Now I need to note that although you only get three frames in a pack of your, um, your frame pack, you do get like in this um, two by two glass, you get 24 pieces of glass. So you get plenty of glass to play with. So I hope you guys enjoyed this really quick, simple project. Um, to purchase these items, you can stop by our store, which is located at 120 West Trade Street in Forest City, North Carolina. Or you can check out at our web store at www.offthebeadedpathbeadstore.com. Hope you have a great day.